Hello and welcome to the Fitness Fusion in the chair or not in the chair. So first I just want us to sit up nice and tall in the chair or stand with your legs comfortably hip width apart. Now we're just going to go through this action really focused and slow today. So as you take a deep breath in, let everything expand, let it go. And as you breathe out, squeeze down your belly muscles and hold those in. Now you're holding those in and pull up your pelvic floor, your toilet muscles. Tuck your tailbone under and bring your rib cage back over your hips. So you should feel some muscles engaging down here in the belly. It should be cutting out a lot of the arch in your back. You should feel quite flat in the back. As you tuck under, you feel it squeezing here. Now it might feel a bit abnormal at first, but that's where we want to hold our core, mostly throughout the class. Grab hold of your band. Okay, so we're going to sit, feet tip width apart, push your feet down into the floor. If you're standing, your toes are hip width apart. So grab, grab your band, and the band itself also is hip width apart. Push your feet down into the floor, whether you're standing or sitting, and as you breathe in, stretching the band apart enough to feel contraction in your arms. As you exhale, bringing the arms down. We're going to do that again. Keep that contraction in your core, squeeze the belly, squeeze the pelvic floor, tailbone tucks under. The legs are firm and solid. So even if you're sitting in a chair, you should feel that the legs are working. Can you stretch through your knees, pushing the feet down if you're standing? And exhale, we'll do that again. Nice and slow at first. Feeling those muscles in the arms contracting and working as you bring the arms up and as you bring the arms down. Let's go a little bit faster now. Inhale up, exhale down. Pull your shoulders away from the ears. Squeeze the belly, the bottom, the pelvic floor. Pull up through your spine. Keep pushing your feet down. So even your legs are working as you push the feet down. Bottom still squeezing, belly squeezing in, waist squeezing in. Four more. Three more. Breathing out, pulling those arms apart, holding firm through the core. And one more. and exhale and release and relax give yourself a little loosen off with the band out wide hold there first chuck the band behind your armpits and underneath the arms now we're interlacing the hands if you're in the chair take your legs out wide and if you're standing Stand wide with your knees slightly bent, toes out to the front corners of your mat. We push up into the centre and then release. Now we're going to go from one side to the other. Up and up. Exhale, exhale. Squeeze the belly, tuck the tailbone under. Squeeze, squeeze. And eight, seven. So opposite wall, punching up. Five, six, seven, and eight more. Now, if you're standing, you're going to bend your knees down more in the center. And twist, and breathe, and breathe. A little bit faster. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Two more sets. And eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, and one more set. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and release, relax. I hope you felt that there. 
Bring yourself in, give yourself a loosen up. Good. Legs out wide again, whether you're sitting or standing, your palms facing down. I want to check that you've got your hands with the band over the back of the hand and holding it there like that. So, legs out wide. <clears throat> Now we're gonna sit down into the legs. So here, as we sit down, I want the people in the chair to push their feet down and you should feel your bum and your thighs working. Yes, and then we're gonna come up and open. And one, two. So each time Susie's opening her arms, she's pushing down her feet. Now, keep your elbows out to the side. Elbows stay out to the side. Elbows stay out to the side. Open and close your forearms. Open and close forearms. Keep the elbows out to the side, don't move them. Keep going. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, hold it out there and pump it out there. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Keep the elbows up high. Breathe. Can you feel it yet? Just nod at me, yes, if you can. And release and relax. Well done. Loosen off your body. <clears throat> Band coming behind the armpits again, so make sure it's there. This time with a pec press. So with the pec press, we're not letting the arms drop down. We're keeping the elbows up level with the shoulders. And as we do this here, I'm going to ask you to bring your legs more narrow on a chair and raise one knee up and the other leg up. When you're ready, let's go. One. Pulling the belly in, squeezing the pelvic floor. Pull up long through your spine. Beautiful. You really exaggerate, opening in your posture. Even your back of neck is lengthening. Another set and eight, seven, six, five. Keep those elbows up there. And relax. We'll give your arms a little bit of a rest. So, <clears throat> I hope that everybody's got some sort of chair, some sort of seat that they can sit on. Because we're going to come to sit here like this. First with the legs out wide. And we're going to do little lifts off of the chair like this. <clears throat> So we're taking our knees open, squeeze the belly, the pelvic floor, the bottom, and then give me a little lift here off the chair. So we're not coming too far, it's very small. We're keeping everything firm. And breathe out as you lift. Good, now you can keep your hands on your legs, or you can take the hands out of it completely by pressing the hands and the arms together as you come to stand. Now we're keeping it quite low. <coughs> Two more like this. Two. And one. Now we're going to make it slower. And we're going to come all the way up. And all the way down. Breathing out. Breathing in. Still squeezing around your girdle everywhere. Breathing in, out slowly, and breathing in. 
again. Two more. Push your feet down, firm up, bum, thighs, belly, pelvic floor, waist pulling in. And one more there. And now we're going to place our hands out in front as we stand a little bit. About halfway. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Make sure your legs are out nice and wide. Just sitting on the edge of the chair there. Pull up your pelvic floor. Can you? Same again, but bring your arms up. Now, it's a lot more unstable here, so just try. Squeeze, pull, one. If you need to bring your arms down again, to do. Tightening into the waist, into the core, breathe out. And bring your hands back onto your hips for the last few, very small, one. Just coming off the chair, two, three, four, five. You should start to feel it in your bottom now, seven, your thighs, eight, nine, and last one, ten, and release. Good. Give yourself a little loosen off with the legs, maybe a little pat through. Grab hold of your bands. Now you've all got a chair, so that's okay. We'll carry on in the chair. Put the band behind your back as before. Hold the ends, chuck it behind you, under the elbows, under the armpits. Sit towards the back of your chair. So now just put your heels onto the floor, and as you breathe out, you're pressing the arms and pressing the legs. Pull the belly in, squeeze the bottom, squeeze the belly and the pelvic floor. Release, inhale. Exhale, squeeze, press, lengthen, hold, and release, inhale. Exhale, squeeze, lengthen, press, and release. Exhale, squeeze, lengthen, stretch your legs, squeeze your bottom, squeeze your belly, pull up your spine, and release. Four more here, squeeze, hold. And release. And three, pull your belly in, squeeze your buttocks, and release. And squeeze, release one more. And breathe out, and release. Now, come to sit on the edge of your chair. I'm going to give you the choice to do chair or stand. In both positions, we're taking the elbows out high as you can. Legs out wide, and we come opposite elbow to the opposite knee, raising the leg up, but also maybe bringing the elbow down to meet the knee. It's up to you. Now, if we're standing, obviously it's here like this. So continue flowing. Keep your legs out wide, twist and breathe. Try to keep the spine upright so we're not leaning. If we're standing, we're standing very upright. We're not leaning forward. We're, we want to get that knee up there. Pull in your waist, pull in your belly, pull up your pelvic floor. Give me eight more. Eight. Feel that twist in your waist. Seven. And 
and well done, you lease and relax. I hope you're working hard enough. Give me a little yes if you are. Yes? Good. This time, press your legs together. Now, I want you to feel as the feet and ankles press together and the knees press together. Can you see that slight movement that happened with me then? Feet pushing down, legs pressing together, watch what happens. You can see how everything connects, the bum connects, the inner thighs connect and I'm still pulling up. So grab your bands again as before under the armpits. As we squeeze the legs together and push down, we're going to crisscross the arms, one, and open, relax. Crisscross, other arm over, and relax. Let's go to a speed. And breathe out, breathe in. Breathe out, breathe in. Pressing those legs together, feeling the bottom squeeze, feeling the inner thighs squeeze, up to all through your spine. Push the feet down as well as pressing them together. Give me eight. And you can feel how this is working into your core. If you're squeezing in and up, and squeeze, and press, squeeze, and two, and one. Keep the legs pressed together now. Now here with the arms crisscross fast. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven. Keep the legs pressed. Keep the belly squeezing. Pulling up through your pelvic floor. Give me another set. Seven. Oh, I think we can do more than one more set. Another set. And breathe. And release and relax. Well done. <sighs> Give me a little rock from side to side. One bum cheek to the other. And loosen off. Excellent. With our body now, we're going to go on the floor in a minute, guys, but we're still getting this feeling of working out the core from the chair. Get your bottom to come forwards to the edge of your chair and then lean back into the back of your chair. Squeeze your belly, your pelvic floor, your bottom and tuck your tailbone under. Hold it there, five counts as you push the arms. Three, two, one, and release. As you tuck the tailbone under, push the arms, squeeze the belly, hold, pull up your pelvic floor. Two, one, and release. Tuck the tailbone under, squeeze the belly, pull up your pelvic floor, you should feel it in your hips, thighs, lower core, arms of course, and release again. Tip up your tailbone, squeeze the tailbone under. So you're really rounding your spine there. And release. So I'm tucking the tailbone right under, rounding, squeezing, breathing. And release. Squeeze, tuck under. And release, two more. Breathe out, squeeze. And release one more. Breathe out, squeeze. And release. Just drop your band down and relax. Hold on to your chair. Lion in your chair and again tuck your tailbone under. So we're going to lift up onto our toes there and release the heels down. Lift the heels, you're on your toes, you should feel it here, and release. Squeeze, lift here, and release. Now, for some people, you'll be able to lift your legs right off the floor, not everybody, and release. Either come onto the toes or lift the legs completely, and release. Onto the toes or lift the legs and release two more squeeze before you lift and release one more time squeeze lift and release again a nice
nice stretch there. Come and sit up. Now, of course, you can feel this here. It may be a little bit in your back. Let's take our legs open wide. Now you're coming down to the floor in a graduation. So each person will be different. Just go as far as you feel right for you. So I've got legs out wide. I'm leaning on the legs. And now I'm going to bring the elbows down to the legs. Now for some people that might be enough. But if you can reach the ground with your hands, you can allow your upper body to drop down further in between the legs. If you've got a high or low blood pressure, you might want to keep your face looking up a little bit. If you're fine with your blood pressure, you're just going to let your head drop down and feel the lower back stretching. Breathe deep and slow. Enjoy the spine pulling open in the lower back. You're supported with your hands. Now push your hands down into the floor. Then bring your elbows onto your knees, but keep your head down. So we're just letting the blood gently flow out of the head. Keep your head down as you sit upright with your body. And then when you feel okay to lift your head up. Stay there, opposite shoulder to opposite knee. Keep the legs apart and twist. Look behind you over that shoulder to your back wall. Come up slowly. As we come down on the other side, opposite shoulder to opposite knee. Keep your legs pushing open and apart. Twist your face to look to the back wall behind you. And coming up slowly. Let's go through on the other side. Inhale. Up. And again, one more time. Over on the other side. So you can feel doing these stretches here. Where and how you've worked in your core and your back muscles. Now those people are staying in the chair. Grab your bands. For those who are working standing, or you can stand in the chair if you want to, we're working the waist here, <coughs> so that band's coming behind the back again. Underneath the armpits, palms face down, and you've got the band over the back of your hands. Legs out wide, toes facing outwards, sit down. So first we're going to exhale, go over one side, and over the other side. Squeeze the belly in, squeeze the waist tighter. Tuck the tailbone under so that your back flattens in the lower back. Exhale as you go over and exhale again. Give me eight more like this, quite slow and controlled. So one arm goes over, one goes under. You can feel it in your waist. One side only, and we're going to double up the speed. One, and back, and two, and back, and three, and back. The other hand's just in front of me here, any way you like, so that you can hold the band steady. And two, and three. One other side, swap arms and one and two. Feel the waist muscles doing the work. Squeeze in at that waist. Squeeze up through your pelvic floor. Even if you're sitting on a chair, you could be pushing your feet down to get the muscles working and stronger in that area. And one and release. Now we're slowing it down even more. Push your feet down into the floor, whether you're sitting or standing, arms out. Your elbows are very slightly bent so the band doesn't slip, very slightly. And squeeze the belly, bottom pelvic floor. Slowly come down with one arm and up with the other. Now squeeze the top waist to squeeze you back up again. Slowly, down on the other side. 
and the top side really squeezes like a concertina to come back up and over. Tuck your tailbone under. We should not feel any pain in our back. All of the muscles in the waist are doing the work. Good. Pull up that pelvic floor. Squeeze. Again. Over. And squeeze to lift. You notice that working slow is just as good, sometimes better, than working fast. Squeeze. So you get a full focus of the muscles that you're working to bring you back up again. Squeeze. One more. Over. And squeeze the waist to lift you. Well done. Have a little relax for a moment. Loosen off and shake out. If you're sitting, you're going to take one leg bent, one leg straight. If you're standing, one leg bent, one leg straight. Lean on the bent knee and then stretch your straight leg. If you can reach your toes, pull back on the toes, please. And release. And we're coming over on the other side. Bent knee, lean on your bent knee. So, good. We should feel stretched in the hamstrings now. We're going to get down onto the floor for those who are working on the floor, on your mat. And if you're working on a chair, Susie will help you. for a moment. I don't know why that's happening. So we're sitting on the floor. Whether you're sitting in the chair, if you're on the chair, come to the front of your chair. Wrap hold of your band, everybody. Take your band behind, under your back. Squeeze the belly, bottom, pelvic floor. And if you're in the chair, you're doing the same thing. As you lean back, push your arms forward. As you come up, open the arms. Exhale, push forwards, lean back. Inhale, open, sit up. Exhale, push, lean back. Inhale, sit up. Again, breathe out, lean back, push forwards. Inhale, up. Keep going, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, two more. going to raise one leg as we lean back. So sit up nice and tall. Lean back, raise one leg. Inhale, come up. Exhale, other leg. Inhale, up. Exhale, squeeze, lean back. Inhale. Again. Should not compromise your spine at any time. Pull that belly in. We don't want it to stick out at all. And breathe. Inhale. Two more. Can you feel it in your arms already? One more. And, and release. Have a little rest. Loosen off. 
rock your bum from side to side. I've got to try to sort out the coma. Give me a moment, darlings. Come in to lie down on the back now. If you're on the chair, you're going to practically do the same thing. But we're going opposite hand to opposite knee. As we lean back, yes, take the arms out. And now lift one knee, opposite hand to opposite knee. Come back down, exhale, lift. Now if you're on the chair, you can either stay leaning back or you can try to sit up. Exhale. How's that feel, Susie? So you see how Susie's back is coming off the floor, off the chair, and my back's coming off the floor. But if this is too difficult for you to lift your upper body, then keep your upper body down. Squeeze the core muscles. Breathing out. Bend your knees so that your feet are on the floor and you're just raising one leg and the other. Good. Bend both knees, feet on the floor. Opposite hand to opposite knee. One more. And release. If you're on the floor, you're going to roll over your back, hugging your legs. And if you're on the chair, sit up tall and rock your bum from side to side. Loosen off. On the chair and on the ground, stay there, just watch. The band is still behind the back. When I push the arms forwards, this gets the back of the arms here. When I push the arms forwards and close them, the hands are staying together. I'm keeping my knuckles together so that it gets more of the back rather than what we've been working here. So now, you're going to take your, sit towards the back of the chair and take your arms and your legs either up to the sky or forward. Squeeze the core, let's go. Exhale, stretch, squeeze the belly in, hold. And release. Exhale, squeeze, feel your core muscles, your belly muscles doing the work. And release. Exhale, squeeze, pull the belly down. If you want to lift your head and shoulders, you can if you're on the ground and release. Exhale, squeeze and lift. Squeeze your bottom and release. Exhale, squeeze and lift and release. Breathe out, squeeze, lift, and release. Two more. Breathe out, squeeze, and lift, and release. One more. Breathe out, squeeze, lift, hold, and release. If you're on your back, roll over your back. And if you're sitting, you can just twist from one side to the other. And that will make you feel a bit looser. Good. Excellent. On the chair, <clears throat> you're taking your band out like this and holding it in front of you, palms facing down. Here again, on the chair, you will be lifting one knee and up, and then the other leg and up. So let me see Susie do that there. She's bringing the band to the shin, band to the shin, and then back up again as you put the leg down. And now can you feel that tight in your core, Susie? Right, so on the floor, we're doing the same thing. 
but we're taking our arms above our head and pulling the band open. Now, if you want to, you can keep your feet off the floor or easier version, feet down on the floor. Whichever way it is, you're bringing one leg in and out, other leg in and out. Let's go. Breathe out. Breathe out. Pulling the waist in tight, squeezing the belly, squeezing the pelvic floor. Can you feel that working, Susie? Yes, Debbie. <clears throat> Is it working your core? Feel it in my core. Good. Now, if you're on the floor, you might want to bring your head up and down as you bring that leg in and Give me four more. Two more. and let go. If you're on your back, roll over your back to relax. If you're sitting, just give yourself some twists, one side and the other side to relax. Excellent. Come into line on your, actually, let's put the band around our legs first. So when you're tying the band around the legs, it's above your knees, pull it first and then knot it because otherwise it's very hard to get it into the right place, nice and tight. One knot, one bow means that you can get it off easily. One more thing to say about these bands, every now and again to keep them lasting a long time, you need to dust them with a bit of talcum powder and that keeps them really durable and more pliable and elastic. So we're sitting in the chair with our feet open and our knees together. If you're lying on the floor, get your head so that it's two hand widths of mat to a space, two hand widths, and then your head. So your head's just below the top of the mat. Your elbows come forward. Now we did this last week, so as we open the legs, your upper body comes forwards, and we inhale and come back with the legs closed. So feet open, knees together to start. Susie's going to sit forwards on the chair now and lean back. She's still holding the chair, but as she opens the leg, she's going to try and sit up. Yes. And then go back as the legs close. Ready to go, everybody? Deep breath in, nice and slow at first. Open the legs, come up. One, two, three. Really, <coughs> excuse me. Again. One, two, three. Really. Squeeze the belly, pelvic floor. One, two, three. Really. Squeeze and lift. One, two, three. Really. Squeeze, lift open. One, two, three. Really. Squeeze, lift open. One, two, three. Really. Again, squeeze open. One. Two, three, really. One more time. Squeeze, lift open. One, two, three, release. Now we're going to hold it open. Let's open, come up, and give small squeezes. One, two, three, four, five. Breathe out, breathe out. Squeeze it in with the belly, the pelvic floor, the buttocks. And release 
and relax. Bring your knees into the chest, roll over your back and breathe. We're going to work into the bottom a bit. Susie, it's the same thing for you. You're going to open and close the legs. Make sure your bottom squeezes and push the feet down. Can you take your feet open a little bit more? So we're doing the same thing here, but we're going to lift our bottom up off the floor first. So copy us with the squeeze. Legs, everybody open. Now squeeze the bum, push up a little bit. One, and release. If you're on a chair, squeeze and release. Squeeze the bum and push down the feet, yes? And squeeze and release. If you're lying down, of course you're lying on your shoulders and neck. You're squeezing, pushing up. Keep the bottom off the floor. Don't let it come back down to the floor yet. You're just staying there. Squeeze and release. Double time. One and two and three and four and five. Can you feel your bum squeezing, Susie? Seven and eight. Now this time, we're gonna keep it up there, keep it squeezing, and close your knees and open your knees. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight. Can you feel it? Oh yes. Hold it open, hold it open. Small squeezes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Give me another 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and release slowly. Tailbone comes down last. Bring your knees into the chest and roll over your back and breathe. Susie's going to come and lie back on the chair. Her bum's at the front of the chair. She's lying down as low as she can. Two positions here. If you can't lift the whole legs, just come up onto your toes and release. Can you sit up as well as doing that? Toes sit up, yes, a little bit, and release, go back. But if you are stronger, you can lift the legs off the floor, come up a little bit with your legs, keep the knees bent, keep the knees bent, come up and back down. So that's the hard version, she's lifting her feet. The easy version is keep the toes on the floor and come up while you lift the heels. Go down, drop the heels down. We're doing the same thing here with the legs, on your back. You can lift your head and shoulders in the mat to so make sure you're in a comfortable place first. <coughs> Both legs, upper body up and release back down. Keep the legs apart. Exhale, not too far apart about hip width and down. Exhale, squeeze, lift and down. Breathe out, squeeze, lift. And down. Squeeze, lift. And down. Squeeze, lift. Squeeze, lift. Four more. Use your breath. And three. And two. One more. And one. Hold it up there. Can you hold it up there? Either hold it on your toes, small movement. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nearly there. Come on. Another ten. Ten. Breathe. Don't think about it. Just breathe. Squeeze those muscles in your abs. Three, two, and relax. Well done. Good. We're going to roll over our back. And as Susie's doing, you can have a little twist. Does that help relieve you? Yeah. Good. 
sitting up nice and tall, straight legs. We're undoing the bands. We're nearly there, darling. We're nearly there. So undoing the band. At this time, if you're on the floor, watch. I'm putting the band in the center around the bottom of the feet. If you're on the chair, you're going to put it under your thighs. Now, I'm straightening out the legs, but Susie will bend her knees, obviously. And I'm crossing the band over. Now my palms are facing down to the ground. I'm going to hold close to the cross. So even if I'm sitting, she's holding closer to the cross, not at the ends. And now we're doing an upright row. So we're going to pull the elbows back and open and release. Squeeze the core muscles. One and two and breathe out and pull your shoulder blades apart. One more here like this. And then we're sitting upright, maybe leaning back just a bit and just keep the body still as you pump the arms. One, two, three, four, five. Come on, another set. Well done and relax. Did you feel that? <laughs> relax. Give your arms a shake out. We're going to have a little side stretch here. So if you're sitting, you can just white legs, cross white legs if you're there, and you're just going to come over on one side and breathe. And release and over on the other side and breathe. And release and give yourself a listen off again. Right, so we need to have a good old stretch now. Give me a moment. So we've all got ourselves down onto the floor now. Yeah, come down on the floor. Let's take our feet together, hold on to the feet and pull your feet in. Lengthen up through the spine, inhale. And as you exhale, bend your elbows, folding forwards and breathe. Deep breathing, relaxing through the legs, but pulling the spine forwards as much as you can, your elbows inside the legs if you can. And release, come up slowly. Take your legs open wide and stretch your legs out. Stretch your thighs from your hips, stretch your shins from your knees. Twist and come over on one side, twisting towards your outer thigh any more that you can, and breathe. Take some time for the body to relax in that position almost. Be patient in your mind and then you'll feel patient in the body. And release slowly. We're coming over to the other side 
And as we come down as far as you can comfortably go, we twist to the outer thigh more. Breathe slowly. And release. And then come down center and breathe. Coming up slowly, bring your legs in together and give them a little pump into the floor. So into a forward bend, stretch up and breathe out, come forward. And if you can't reach your toes, grab your band, pull the feet back towards you and pull into the legs. Breathe. and then come round onto one hand and take the other foot to the bottom. You can lean on your elbow if you want to. So as my foot comes to the bottom, I now pull the knee back to get the front of the legs and thigh working. And release. Now on the other side. First hold the foot, pull it back to the bottom and then bring your knee back. And just take time there. Your breath is slow, you're feeling relaxed. Your mind is on the muscles that you're stretching and you're feeling good that you've done something to strengthen your body. And release. Come and sit up and give it a little pump into the floor. Come around onto all fours. As you breathe out with your hands under your shoulders, your knees under your hips, breathe out round your spine and breathe in arch. Breathe out, round. Breathe in, arch. Breathe out, round. Breathe in, arch. And release. Sit on your bottom again. Now as I take one foot over by the knee on the other side, I sit up tall, my opposite hand is going to pull that leg in. If you can get the elbow over, do. And then your other hand goes behind you and you twist to look to the back wall, breathing deep, tall through the spine. and release and over on the other side sit tall take your left your elbow your opposite arm over with the other hand behind you and twist breathe And release. You can just put your legs either crossed or out a little bit and go over to the side and breathe.
and release and over to the other side and breathe. And release. Come onto your knees either here or here. Make sure you've got cushion in your knees or you can sit on your chair. Now we want to get out of each other's way because I'm going to swing my arms and just twist gently. So your front arm bends into the chest and the back arm swings out. Squeeze your bottom with your spine lengthened. Let me have a look at your... Good. And I want you to feel nice and loose now. Good. Relax. Either sitting on your chair or come down to sit. And then finally, just squeeze up your shoulders here and drop them down. So we'll breathe in, breathe out. your hands onto your legs and just lean back a little bit but sit up tall and relax tuck your chin in a little bit and take your attention of your mind throughout the body to notice how you've worked the body where does it feel buzzing can you feel you've particularly worked the core we've worked arms and legs of course you should be able to almost relax all of your muscles now. And if you can't relax, my advice is have an Epsom salt bath or salt and bicarb of soda also works. It just draws out all the aches and pains. Bring your hands together in front of you, interlace your hands and just sit with your hands by your chest. Take some deep breaths and as you breathe in, in your mind say, I feel calm now. As you breathe out in your mind say, I feel energized now. Two more breaths. Done. Just take your hands away, give them a shake. Can you lean back on your hands and give one foot a shake? Other leg a shake. Well done. Breathe in, stretch up. Breathe out, down, stretch out. So again, breathe in, stretch. And breathe out, stretch one more time. Even your core, your waist, your spine stretches. And breathe out. And let's give yourselves a little good clap. Well done.